Did chance who his pants, 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 Chance poop this pants, chance poop this pants. What's going on, guys? Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a pinch punch effect in Premiere Pro. So, the example you saw at the start is the video I'm about to create. So, the first thing we're going to be doing is heading over to the effects tab, and from the effects tab, we're coming over to video effects. And if we come down, you can see it says distort. Select distort, and from here, we're going to add on spherize. So, drag and drop this on your video. Now, no effects has taken place just yet. If you are selected on your video, come to the effect controls. And as you'll see, it says spherize. And this is where we're going to customize it. So first of all, the radius, bring this up. You can see the effect is now taking place. Um, if you go too much, you can see it kind of distorts the video a bit too much. You may like it if you're going to make a crazy video, but I just primarily want it on his face. So that's where I'm going to have it. And as you bring the radius up, you'll notice this plus and a circle has come here. Drag this to the position where you want it. So you can have it on poopy pants or you can have it on Keem Star. So I'm going to have it here on, on his, I'll have it on his nose. And now if I just play it through, this is what we currently have. Did chance poo his pants, pants, pants. So he looks like a dwarf with a big head. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what we're going to do is how to animate it so the uh, effect comes in and out as if it's like a screen pump just on his big head. So for this, make sure you're right at the start. On radius, you're going to toggle the animation and you can choose how many frames you want to come across. Now for me, I'm going to go across five frames. One, two, three, four, five. So it says for five right there. And I'm going to zoom in a bit more so I can see me laying down a frame. And I'm going to turn this all the way to zero. So it's back to normal. And all I'm going to do is highlight this, uh, right click, select copy. Then I'm going to come across five frames again. So that means I'm going to go to 10 here. I'm going to left click and I'm going to press control V. Then I have four, so I'm going to highlight all of these, right click, select copy. And I'm going to come across that as last keyframe, come across five keyframes again. Left click here, control V. And I'm just going to repeat this for as long as I want to. And you can do the same as well. So currently we're at one second and five frames. I'm gonna do this up until two seconds. And that is just past two seconds. So if I play this through, this is what we've just done. Did chance pull his pants, 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 pants. Just like that, super simple. Um, and then after you do all this pumping stuff, if you want it to just stay the same, so if I just zoom in, what you wanna do, come across five frames again so now we're at 20 and we're going to bring this up to however you want to I'm going to keep it there so then if I play this through did chance who his pants 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 right chance poop this pants chance poop this pants <laughs> and there we go there we have dwarf keemstar but that is it, that's how you create the pinch punch effect in Premiere Pro, super simple, You that's how you animate it as well. Um, again, I used five keyframes as a gap, you can choose, um, you can see this is the speed of five keyframes. So you may want to go slower, or you may want to go quicker. Now I spent a lot of time looking through the Premiere Pro settings, but I couldn't find one that actually beats this setting. Uh, me personally, I don't think it looks the best, and the reason I say that is because I use Vegas Pro 15 most of the time. Now when I made this same effect in Vegas Pro 14, it does look a lot better there, and if you want to check that out, a link to it will be in the description. Either way, I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you.